In Hollywood movies, we often see astronauts facing dramatic deaths in space, but the reality is different. When in a vacuum, astronauts don't instantly freeze, and their blood doesn't boil. The main danger is the lack of oxygen, which leads to death. The body's fluids may vaporize slowly, but they don't explode. In the vacuum, there's no air to carry away heat, so the body loses warmth gradually. While it's a perilous situation due to the absence of life-sustaining air, the exaggerated depictions in movies don't align with the more gradual and less sensational reality of what happens to the human body in space. Join us at the Beyond the Gravity channel, a channel dedicated to discovering more about space, our final frontier. Ever wondered what happens to your body in the vacuum of space? In this video, we'll explore the true effects, no exaggerations. Let's uncover the real science behind space exposure. Three, two, one, and we have liftoff. A vacuum is like a place with absolutely nothing in it, no visible or invisible stuff at all. It even lacks important gases like oxygen, which we need to stay alive. That's why being in a vacuum without a spacesuit is dangerous. Without the suit, things go bad quickly. In about 15 seconds, your lungs push out all the oxygen, making you lose consciousness. After that, in just two minutes, your organs stop working. And sadly, that's the end. Your brain needs oxygen, so when it's not there, you faint fast. Then, everything else in your body shuts down, leading to a person passing away. This is why astronauts wear special gear when they're in the vacuum of space, to keep breathing and stay alive. It's a reminder of how important our earthly air is to keeping us alive and well. On NASA's official website, they mention a surprising incident in 1965 during a vacuum simulation. In this unplanned experiment, an astronaut whose name is kept private experienced a torn spacesuit. In those tense moments, he was conscious for around 14 seconds before passing out. Luckily, the simulator's depressurization began quickly, and he survived. According to NASA's report, when he regained consciousness, the astronaut shared a remarkable experience. He mentioned hearing the sound of oxygen leaving his body and feeling like a lot of water was on his tongue, almost as if it were boiling. This incident sheds light on the immediate and unsettling effects of exposure to the vacuum of space. It also underscores the importance of spacesuit integrity for astronauts, highlighting the risks they face in the challenging environment beyond our Earth's atmosphere. If a person doesn't try to hold their breath in the vacuum of space, they might have a chance of surviving for about 30 seconds without causing permanent damage. Interestingly, Holding your breath could be even more harmful. This concept is similar to what divers experience when returning to the surface. When underwater, the pressure makes the lungs shrink. As they ascend, the lungs expand back to their normal size. However, an issue arises due to the water itself. Gases like the ones inside a diver's lung tend to dissolve in liquids when there's a significant pressure change. Upon surfacing, the pressure difference decreases, causing the dissolved gas to form air bubbles in the person's veins. This can lead to serious problems. So, divers need to be cautious during their ascent to avoid these potentially harmful effects, emphasizing the importance of understanding pressure changes in different environments. If a person were exposed to space without protection and died, the body's decomposition would differ from what we're familiar with due to the absence of oxygen. If near a heat source, it might mummify, otherwise freezing would likely occur. However, if inside an astronaut's suit, decomposition would begin until the oxygen supplies were depleted. In any case, the body in space would endure. While it's true that blood might undergo unusual reactions in a vacuum inside the body, it wouldn't boil. The blood within veins and arteries doesn't follow the same rules that apply to the vacuum, so it doesn't react as it would in a space without matter. Addressing another misconception, the temperature in a vacuum doesn't instantly plummet, especially if in the shade. Of the three heat exchange types, conduction, convection, 
and radiation. Only radiation occurs in a vacuum, and it happens very slowly. You wouldn't freeze immediately. The slow radiation process means you'd face other dangers, like a lack of oxygen before the cold became a serious threat. These clarifications highlight the need to rely on scientific understanding rather than myths when considering the effects of space exposure on the human body. If someone were looking at the sun in space, the burns from the unfiltered UV rays could indeed be severe since there's no atmosphere to provide protection. However, a movie scene like the one in The Avengers of the Future where Arnold Schwarzenegger's eyes supposedly explode is not accurate. The idea of eyes exploding is impossible because there isn't enough pressure within the human body to cause such an extreme reaction. In reality, the lack of atmospheric pressure in space wouldn't make a person's eyes explode. While exposure to unfiltered sunlight can lead to serious eye damage, it would not result in such dramatic and unrealistic consequences. It's essential to differentiate between dramatic portrayals in movies and the actual science behind the effects of space conditions on the human body. Understanding these distinctions help prevent the spread of misconceptions about space-related dangers. Only three people have died from exposure to the vacuum of space. The unfortunate incident occurred in 1971 during the Soyuz 11 mission, carrying three Russian astronauts. Tragically, decompression occurred during re-entry while still in space, leading to the deaths of all three crew members. When the ground crew reached the landing site, they discovered the astronauts in a peculiar state described as seeming to be sleeping. This haunting description underscores the eerie calmness that accompanies the lack of oxygen in space. The absence of visible external injuries added to the surreal scene, leaving the crew members appearing as if they were peacefully asleep. The Soyuz 11 incident serves as a somber reminder of the risks and challenges astronauts face in the harsh environment of space, emphasizing the importance of rigorous safety measures and precautions in space exploration. A corpse would survive intact much longer without air, a critical factor that accelerates degradation on Earth. Floating through the vast expanse of space, the corpse could persist for millions and millions of years, preserved in the unique conditions of the cosmic vacuum, where conventional decay processes are greatly slowed down. Thanks for exploring the cosmic challenges of radiation in human space journeys with us. If this voyage through the radiation realm sparked your curiosity, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment sharing your thoughts, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell to stay tuned for more thrilling space explorations on Beyond the Gravity. Your support propels us to delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos. Let's keep navigating the stars together.